Let's tie the carp coachman. We're going to start with a fire hole 633 hook in a number 10 and some black Vivas 8 aught or 6 aught thread. And we're, next, we're just going to add our eyes. For this, we're going to use medium black B chain eyes. And we can take our thread just behind the eyes. And I'm going to just measure out here a big clump of golden pheasant tippets. I would say it's the majority of the feather. This fly has a big, dense tail. I want it to be about the length of the shank of the hook. And just capture it with our thread and wrap back down onto it. You can make adjustments here if you need to make it longer or shorter. Take your thread all the way back to the bend. Trim out your golden pheasant. Now we're ready to start to build our body. You can use a lot of different kinds of a dubbing for this. I'm just going to use some hairline dubbing and I'm going to use a dubbing loop. You don't have to use a dubbing loop. You can just use a regular technique of spinning it onto the thread, but I'm going to use a dubbing loop here just because I'm going to go for a kind of a shaggy look on the body. It's a little easier to achieve that with a dubbing loop. And we're just going to use some hairline dubbing in a rust color, but you can use a lot of other type of coarse dubbing. Possum dubbing works great, goat dubbing works great. You can also tie it in other colors too. We're going to just tie it in a rust color, but you can do this in brown, olive, any kind of carpy color. Now you have your dubbing loop all formed and twisted up. We're just going to wrap it around the shank of the hook. And I like to, each wrap, I'll kind of stroke some of the fibers back just kind of helps them all lay down nice and uniform. It'll help give me that kind of shaggy appearance that I'm going for. Once you get right behind the eyes, I'm just going to capture all that dubbing with our thread. Trim out the dubbing loop. Now we can kind of tease out some of those fibers. Now we're ready to move on to the, the collar. For that we're going to use two partridge feathers. I'm going to tie them in by the, the tips. I've also stripped out all the fluffy plumage down at the base of the feather too, just leaving the stiffer hackle barbs. And it's easiest to clip in with a pair of hackle pliers for this step. I kind of stroke all those fibers back. You're only going to get about one turn out of these feathers. Trim out the butt ends. And 
if any of the feathers kind of get too clumped together, you can just spread them out with your fingers. Now we're ready to just finish the fly with the head. For this, we're going to use some black peacock dubbing. I'm just going to dub this kind of the standard way, just twisting it onto the thread. You can use a dubbing loop for this step, but it's not really necessary because we're not using too much dubbing. And I'm also going for a tighter, a tighter dubbed look where I'm building kind of a ball around the head rather than going for a shaggy look. I want it nice and uniform and tight. And you can tie this sparser. You can stop kind of where I just did, or if you want to go for more of a pronounced head, you can add a little bit more. It's really kind of up to you at this point. And we'll stop there. That looks about good. And all you have to do is whip finish, and you'll have a finished cart coachman.